Hello everyone, my name is Suresh Tutude, a uh, student of Hajanas University. In this uh, demonstration, we are going to on the series of the laser modeling demonstration with COMSOL software, and this subject is related to laser printer. Here we are going to demonstrate the moving laser heat source. The work that we are going to be doing is based on the one-dimensional multiples and laser machining of structural aluminium evolution of surface topography. Even though the simulation will not be focusing on the evolution of surface topography and the machining is not one-dimensional. We are going to simulate a moving heat source which means that it is going to be uh, two-dimensional and uh, the laser heat source will be continuous first and then it will be a pulse mode uh, laser machine process. In the previous dimensions uh, we insert the properties and we basically replicated this article. We are going to use opening uh, comes from multiphysics to create a model. We are going to choose model wizard and then to select a space dimension. We are going to choose uh, 2D because we are going to simulate a cross section of the sample or work page that is going to be machined by the laser. When the laser is moving across uh, that surface and then uh, selecting the physics, it is heat transfer is a uh, solid since we are going to be focusing only on that. And then uh, our study is going to be time uh, time dependent in the model builder uh, the first process or the first step is to create or input parameters so what we want to input here are the laser parameters and the sample dimensions and the material properties if it necessary So first the parameters we are going to extract them from uh, this article here um, They have been organized in a very nice table Right there They are zoomed out So since in the previous uh, demonstrations we have created we added them the material properties we're going to skip this section and move on to the laser machining parameters what is uh, essential here is that we insert the number of laser pulses pulse energy pulse width the pulse term or uh, the beam diameter the, uh, the, uh, the emissivity heat transfer coefficient absorptivity and uh, the rest of these parameters until we are at the gravitational uh, acceleration so I'm going to copy these parameters as they are This is the number of laser pulses or the repetition rate. So we are just going to include um, 10. The first uh, number here and then you move on the pulse entry. I'm using shortcuts to copy. So one. Uh, I write here one uh, joule. It's uh, pulse energy. Okay. The next pulse.
Let's leave. In other places or uh, demonstrations or research articles, they also call pulse wave pass duration. The emissivity of the surface is 0 0.7, 0 0.7. So property that we use for a uh, reduction heat losses. Now this is a heat transfer coefficient using 10. Yes, 10 watt per meter square Kelvin to account for the convective heat losses. I skip this part because of time. As you can see, I completed the table. And then we have the laser parameters. And what else do we need? I think we have enough. Um, okay, so now let's move into the component under definitions uh, this is where you insert the equipment that you modify for the laser beam or for the model itself so the equation that you want here or these equations here are going to expand this this equation is what we want. And we want to insert this here, the laser beam itself, and we want uh, to also insert the pulsing effect. That's what you want to insert this most. So first let us create the laser energy density. I'm going to call this E, E, D. It is equal to the pulse energy divided by pulse width times the area which is times uh, 0 0.25 0 0.25 which is the diameter of the laser beams square so uh, that's the that's the energy density Okay, when uh, I complete this table, and uh, we should go to uh, set a geometry, geometry, right click, when to put in a rectangle, and everything, if you click on geometry, everything is in micron. So, we set this the width is w1 and the height is h1 build that this is what we have right uh, so what we are going to have here is a laser beam moving uh, from here to uh, there Okay, we're going to move on and we should add material and uh, our material that you created in the previous demonstration is in the user defined library and it is Alumina Demo. Double click on it. Right. 
this material we were able to create a temperature dependent density and temperature dependent thermal conductivity temperature dependent uh, viscosity surface tension modules of elasticity we have even the heat capacity here so uh, essentially we have uh, all these parameters that you want and uh, what you want in this simulation at least to improve its uh, accuracy next uh, we are going to add if we are at the heat transfer node so what we want here uh, we want to have let me go back to geometry uh, here we are going to say the laser beam is moving here along this top surface meaning uh, we insert a heat flux here and the uh, inward heat flux and then the uh, and then the laser beam or the surface is cooled also in the surface it's exposed to the environment on the sides and uh, also at the top here at the bottom uh, is included meaning it's uh, sitting on the base of the surface very minimum heat lo losses so uh, and also we have radiation losses right here and there on the side as well if uh, the temperature is high enough so uh, right clicking on heat transfer add a heat flux and we select the top surface and the heat flux is exactly this Gaussian laser and pause PG which is a laser heat source so I'm going to rename this heat flux copy laser heat source and and then uh, the general uh, inoid heat flux okay I'm going to write PG the Gaussian laser the Gaussian laser pause okay next we add the uh, convective cooling which is also with the heat flux add and uh, name that up there as cooling uh, right and choose these sections uh, just uh, click on there and here and here we want to check that box for convective uh, heat flux and the heat transfer coefficient is user defined uh, it is h1 remember up there where this is h1 the heat transfer coefficient 10 watts per meter square kelvin this is a general equation uh, here The beauty of console multiphysics is that it has all the equations here and you won't have to be guessing what the equations are. Also there is a general heat flux there, heat transfer of coefficient and the temperature, uh, external temperature we call that TA. Next we want to mesh the surface. Let's build all. Uh, that's a curved metal. It's a normal cross mesh, which is not ideal for the simulation. It may be quicker, but the simulation might not convert, or it might not be accurate enough. You would want to have an extremely fine mesh. Uh, this will take longer to compute, but. It is ideally that's what we want but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to come here uh, indirect in the geometry 
what we want to have at least this top part of the surface highly uh, highly matched and then we can have a curse match here at the bottom uh, so uh, what I'll introduce is a layer let's say make that D times 2 um, let me just uh, put there D let's see what okay so we're going to a very fine mesh here at the top and then and then here we are going to have a coarse mesh this is just to simplify the computation for the software okay and uh, closing this node and to come here I'm going to add a triangle mesh right click on the triangle mesh and adding size this mesh is uh, applicable only for the domain at the top and based on the article and uh, okay we are just going to the article and they describe their workflow they emphasize uh, that they use the mesh con uh, conditions customized mesh conditions which are maximum element size of uh, right here a uh, 14 micron minimum of 2 micron and so uh, 14 here and 2 here if you build that mesh if uh, you build that mesh it's very really see that it's a uh, very fine up there uh, which is what we want uh, let's add another triangle mesh which is going to mesh the remaining uh, surface there uh, so want to at least uh, have an accurate completion here at the top and here not necessary but because an uh, assumption uh, is that the laser beam won't be getting to this level temperature the heat but we will see so uh, next so this is the time dependent study and uh, let us add show uh, default solver uh, what you want here uh, is to change at least the times and uh, time stamping make it uh, intermediate you want to improve at least the chances of convergence uh, example you can force the computing again or computation to follow the time stepping or at least give it some room to figure its way around the time stamping so that it uh, finds that uh, solution and okay uh, so let's see if this simulation works we're just going to give it dry run and let's see what happens compute <clears throat> okay uh, the simulation has completed I had to change something a little bit I had to make the mesh a little bit uh, cursor so that the computation was be uh, was a little bit faster. I changed the here and made the mesh finer and here I uh, made the mesh extra fine and uh, a predefined it option instead of customizing it. I will customize it later once uh, I've discovered that it uh, that the simulation works was 
desired so this is a typical outcome of the simulation I could make an animation here so uh, that we can see that what is happening here and let's put it on uh, repeat and play it so what is happening is that uh, the beam is not pulsing and uh, it is also not moving however it is at 1000 micron around the uh, uh, x-axis obviously hitting and landing at the top of the surface okay guys if you enjoy the videos please like the video and of course subscribe us and if you have any questions you can say it on comments thank you for watching goodbye